When Jacques Fremont finally spoke, he announced the controversial event would never take place again, but that the university has no plans to investigate the incident. With the student association uh, and the federation, and it's a student association, uh, if they want to conduct an inquiry, I think, I think it's probably a proper thing to do, and we will support them. But on campus today, there is growing concern that students shouldn't be left to investigate their friends or peers. You really need an outsider's look, like especially on a higher level such as the university. They, they need to get involved and they need to be like that higher power who says, hey listen, that's not okay. The university has a responsibility to make an investigation and if needed to put in place some uh, consequences for the people who are responsible. The Science Students Association organizes an annual invite-only pub crawl called the Vets Tour. Points are awarded to participants who perform lewd acts while in private rooms of bars in Ottawa's Byward Market. Student journalist Yasmin Mehdi went undercover to expose the event and says she heard a woman being pressured into having anal sex. Public educator and activist Julie Lalonde also has concerns about how the administration has reacted. If these were student athletes acting in the way in which they did, I think we would treat it very, very differently than we are. But suddenly it's a different story because they're science students. I just don't buy it. But the university's student paper is getting messages of support for the pub crawl. One anonymous letter to the editor said, Everything that I personally did at this event, I asked to do. Everything that was done to me was something I consented to. And to me, that's how it seemed to go for everyone. While another said, All members of my team, including the ones that hadn't been informed of the specific events, knew what they were getting into. They all consented to the activities. After being targeted by online threats of sexual violence and racism, the student journalist who exposed the pub crawl is still considering filing a formal police complaint. The university's president condemned those comments and offered support, while Ottawa police are monitoring the situation.